If you're wondering how to host a live webinar event in Kajabi, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step by step in this tutorial. And essentially you're using Kajabi to, you know, host the registration of the webinar, the event, the webinar notification emails beforehand. And then you're also using YouTube live to actually go live inside of Kajabi to share your information with the world, right? With your registrants. And in order to go live on YouTube though, you also have to use another program program to go live with. And I personally like using StreamYard. So if that already got complicated, I'm going to show you how in this video. I promise it's more simple than you probably think. And if you're interested in signing up for either Kajabi or StreamYard, we'll have links in the description for those programs. I do have a 30 day free trial link for you guys too, which is actually more than the typical 14 day free trial that they give. It gives you a couple weeks extra for free. So if you're interested in signing up, be sure to use my link below. All right. So if you go ahead and look to your screen, the most simple way to create a webinar in Kajabi is to come to funnels. There are a couple ways you could do this, but funnels is going to be your simplest, easiest bet when it comes to creating live webinars in Kajabi. And when you come to your funnels pages on the left hand side under marketing, if you click on marketing and then you click on funnels, that's where you're going to create your funnel. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a black new funnel button. We're going to click on that. And then the easiest way to do this is to scroll all the way down. You're actually going to click on legacy funnels, scroll down a little bit more, and then go to webinar and click get started. And then we're going to go ahead and create a title for this. So let's just say we're doing one on YouTube, a free YouTube class. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click live webinar so that we are doing a YouTube live, right? So we are going live with this, not pre-recorded. We're going to select a date and a time. Let's go ahead, just select, um, December 10th at 10 AM. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and choose the offer you wish to sell. I actually don't have an offer. I'll just create select a random example offer right here. And then we're going to click generate funnel. And essentially when you do that, Kajabi is creating a registration page, which is a landing page in Kajabi for people to register for your live webinar who put on the registration page, they're creating a form that goes on there and connecting it for you so that people can actually fill out a form to register. When they fill out that form, they're getting registered to an event in Kajabi. So they're creating that event for you and connecting it to your form. So there's definitely a lot of different puzzle pieces and you technically could create them outside of funnel and connect them, but this just makes the process a lot more simple. And if you don't want to figure all that stuff out, this is how you're going to want to do it. So once this is done, we'll loop back here. All right. So once you are, once your funnel is created, you simply come in here and you're able to edit whatever you want to for this funnel. So a few important things to know, you can click on registration page. This is where we're going to want to add your own images, your own branding, add the title of your webinar, all those different things. The important thing is that when someone clicks on reserve my spot, that it pops up with the form to be able to register for your webinar, right? So if we preview this page here, like if I click on reserve my spot, you'll see it already says Sunday, December 10th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Then it comes up with a form where I can put in my name, my email, submit and sign up, right? And to be able to edit that part of this registration page, if we go to the Kajabi page, we're going to go ahead and go under sections right here, go all the way down to two-step opt-in. If you click on that, we're then going to click on show pop-up and that's going to allow you to edit what this pop-up is going to look like. So you can change whatever you want about it. Just be sure when you're done, you uncheck show pop-up so that it's hidden unless someone actually clicks on this spot, right? And when it comes to that pop-up as well, I'm going to go ahead and go back here and go back to the two-step opt-in. Essentially it's connecting like when that pop-up appears after you click the button, the form is your free class free webinar form, right? That you created when you created your funnel. So just make sure that that's selected here. It will automatically, again, pull those, all those puzzle pieces together, but that's kind of the, how it's actually working and how it selects the form and the form that it created for you automatically registers people to your live webinar at the right time. Okay. So what it's registering them to that form, what it is doing is registering them to the next step in this funnel. So if we click on the next step, I'm going to go ahead and leave right here. It's this free YouTube class email event. You can also navigate to this. If you go to the events page in Kajabi, you can navigate to your event here that way, but here's how you'll edit. You can edit your title. This is just an internal title for you. You can edit when the event occurs. If you want to change that, this is where you also can edit under event actions. You can change any of the pre webinar emails, like reminding them, you know, to sign up and a confirmation email and all of that, or not to sign up, but to make sure to join. You can edit any post webinar emails. I typically will send one at the time of registration 
registration 24 hours out, around three or four hours out, and then 15 minutes before to remind them of when the webinar is. And then I send them an email about two hours afterward with a link to the replay. I will just send them. So again, in if you open up all these emails, like it says your special link right here, this is a landing page that Kajabi has automatically created for you. And if you look down on the left hand side, your funnel, you'll see webinar room. That's the exact link to this. So if you ever need to like access that, that's what that is. Or like you're wondering where that link came from. That's what they're automatically generating for you right here, which is actually really nice. But you're the way that you could if you want to make this very simple and send out an automatic replay with YouTube live like the replays are made available immediately so I know for me my webinars typically last a little over an hour so around that hour and a half two hour mark I could have a automatic email go out with a link to my webinar room saying that's where the replay is basically this is the same link that they, if they clicked on any other emails they could access it right but just basically sharing the replays available I actually don't do it this way because I prefer to have the replay on my website and that it is is um, embeddable and I can make it non-skippable. That could be a whole nother video if you guys want me to show you how I do that. But in its simplest, like the simplest way to do this is to use this exact same link and you can literally grab it from this confirmation email It automatically put that link in there for you. Copy that and put that into a replay email that sends out maybe 90 minutes to two hours after your webinar starts because it's probably around the time that you'll be done, right? Okay, so if we go down to confirmation page, this is the page that when someone signs up, this is what they're gonna see afterwards. So typically you wanna have like, check your email for information, how to access the webinar, the date and time they, they signed up for again. I even will add a link like to my shop page, get them familiar with my paid offers, right? And you can edit this however you want to in the exact same way you edited the registration page. Okay, and then your webinar room page, this is the page I was talking about. This is that link that was in those pre-webinar emails that they put it in there automatically for you. So this is where you wanna update this with your own branding and you can update you know, any of like this title here. And this is where you'll see here, this is where you're gonna wanna put the link for for your YouTube live I'm gonna hop over and show you how to do that here in just a second but before I do that there's one other important thing about this webinar page and just making sure that you have a buy button and there's actually a way to have the buy button pop up a certain number of minutes after you start your webinar so maybe you know like whatever you're pitching in your webinar your paid offer if you know it's probably gonna take you about 45 minutes to get to that point in your webinar maybe have it pop up after about 30 minutes so that whenever you direct people to the buy button it's already popped up and below your webinar so to access that and to edit that under sections here you'll see there's a buy button option if you click on that that's where you can actually edit it and change what it's going to look like and all of that if you want it to pop up after a certain number of time go to time reveal here select your webinar event so this is the free YouTube class is what we're doing offset it let's do 30 minutes and then that means 30 minutes after the event starts it's going to pop up right there and this is where you can literally change anything about this this. So let's just say we're going to add a background image right here. We'll do something like this. And in order to be able to see this, if we go back to sections here, just make sure you toggle the show on here. So the little three dots and click show. So then you can see it below right here. And so I typically will just leave that on. Um, if we go to buy a button here, then if we have offset by 30 minutes, it's not actually going to pop up until 30 minutes. And let's go ahead and select a reset file. So say we want to have a cute like background photo right here, and then it's going to look a little cuter, right? And we can change any of this verbiage and these colors. The other important thing, if you're not using Kajabi for your sales page, so you can see on the left hand side, it auto creates like a sales page for your offer. If you're not doing that, that, you just need to make sure under here this buy button section on your webinar room make sure you go under here where it says go to a URL instead of it being the next pipeline step which would be the sales page right just click like insert the link for your sales page on your website and make sure it opens in a new window so if someone's watching like it doesn't stop the webinar from playing and yeah you just insert literally insert your sales page link right here and so after 30 minutes this section will pop up and then people can click on this button and go buy or purchase your paid offer during your live webinar I'm just gonna hit save right here okay so like I mentioned I don't use Kajabi for my sales pages so this is kind of purposeless for me that it created this but but we're just gonna leave it here for now. You can always use this for your sales page if you really want to. And then your offer checkout is simply that offer you selected when you created this funnel to be able to sell, right? So this is the basically same at the end of the day, this is the offer you're tracking and that you are trying to sell. So if we go back to that webinar room, basically the final step 
to being able to set up this webinar is setting up the YouTube live. And like I mentioned, to be able to set up the YouTube live, like if we click in here, it's going to ask for a video ID. To create a video ID, to create a YouTube live, you can put in here. You're gonna have to go like schedule a live on YouTube. To schedule a live on YouTube, you need a program to go live on YouTube. Like YouTube live, you can't just go to youtube.com and go live. It doesn't work like that, like it does on Instagram or TikTok. You have to download another program or use another program to go live on YouTube. Like it basically, YouTube is just the platform that host the live, but it isn't the platform that creates the live to be able to put it on YouTube. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I had to do a lot of research on this to like wrap my mind around it, but the best program that I came across to be able to go live on YouTube that I found the most user friendly, had the different settings that I wanted for a webinar is called StreamYard. So whenever we are going to create a free webinar in Kajabi and create this YouTube live, the first step that I'm going to do is go into StreamYard. So I'm gonna pull that up right now. So when you're logged into StreamYard, it'll look something like this. StreamYard does have a free plan. It will have a StreamYard, StreamYard logo if you use the free plan or you can pay $25 a month for no logo. And so if you're doing the $25 a month option, that can be a great option. If you're doing even just one webinar and you're not gonna do one for another six months, just pay for a month, do your webinar, and then cancel your subscription so you don't get charged again. You don't have to pay it for every month because you're not doing webinars every month. But essentially when you come to StreamYard, you're gonna hit the blue create button right here. We're gonna click live stream. And then we're gonna select our YouTube channel, which if you haven't connected a YouTube channel yet, it'll walk you through like connecting all of that, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and put free YouTube class right here. In the description, I recommend having your sales page link right there just in case someone, cause they would have the ability to click like to watch on YouTube and that would give them another place to like click for your paid offer. So I just recommend having your sales page link right there. Privacy, you're gonna wanna make sure it's unlisted. That's very, very, very important. If it's public, everybody's gonna be able to see and access it. If it's private, no one except you is gonna be able to see and access it. Unlisted makes it where it's not public, but people can access it beside you if you give them the link, which is what we're gonna do with Kajabi, right? Okay, and then we're gonna click or check schedule for later. This is where you can upload a thumbnail if you want to. That's like almost like a preview image people will see before it begins. I like having like the title of the webinar and things like that. And this is where you do your scheduled time. So we did December 10th at 10 a.m. So let's go ahead and do December 10th at 10 a.m. Just so everything matches. And we're gonna click create live stream. All right, so you can see the right here here. It has free YouTube class. You can click enter studio and this is where you can enter. And even like when you are using StreamYard, what's really cool is that you're actually able to update all of your settings here before you go live. So like I'm not live right now. This is just me like in here and I can look at like I can add myself to the stage here so you can see me here. You can also click present and then go to slides. And how I present is I use Canva and I click presenter view. That makes Canva will create a basically a window for just your slides so I can present when I go here and click share screen I can select that window with just my slides but and then it will present my slides but I think people won't see what's going on on my screen and my notes and stuff and I just minimize that window they StreamYard will still present that window, but it's not there. Are, people aren't going to see all my notes and stuff on Canva. So it's just a really cool option. I also have here, you can go to edit layout. And so you can edit like, like for example, when I have my slides on here, I can edit where my face is going to be. And then I can click save and also save it as a custom layout, which is really cool. So I actually have a custom layout created here. When I click this, it automatically like re, you know, centers my face and stuff. And then my slides will show up right here, which is Pretty cool. Okay, so going back to your webinar room, so now we need to get that YouTube live link and put it in here, right? So what I like to do is I like to go on to YouTube and you could do that a couple of ways. You can log into YouTube like I am right here, navigate to the video under your content. In the StreamYard, you can also click this button and click view on YouTube. And then you're gonna want to click edit video and it will take you to the exact same spot. And you're gonna copy this video link right here. Now we're gonna go back into Kajabi's webinar room. We're gonna paste it under video ID and then everything before all these numbers and letters. So like the forward slash and the live and YouTube and all that, we're just gonna delete that. And that is your video ID. So you can see now it auto populated the free YouTube class, the chat right here, and we're gonna hit save just like that. 
And something else that's really important too is if we come over back to our video details, I like to scroll all the way down and just make sure that under comments and ratings, it's sorted by newest and not top. That means it'll put your comments in your chat in chronological order. All right, so once you have this set up right here, and obviously once you've edited like those pre-webinar and post-webinar emails under your event, you've updated your registration page, your confirmation page, like everything should be good to go. And that's exactly how we set it up to run our webinars. But again, for all those different puzzle pieces, right? So we've got the registration page, which has a form that we've created that form registers people to a live event. And with all those different puzzle pieces though, like you can go into the corresponding par parts of Kajabi and just edit that singular part if you ever want to. So for example, I could come here under forms, go to my free YouTube class form and edit that. And I actually recommend doing that for a couple of reasons. This is where I'll, I'll make sure that they're getting sent to my custom thank you page and I'll select that here. I prefer to have a single opt-in selection. So I'm gonna do that. And you can also update any of these other settings if you want to here. So just in a similar way, if you want to want to update just the event, go to events, free YouTube class, and you're able to change you know, all of those pre and post webinar emails that are being sent out. So just to give you an idea too of the webinar room, if we go to pages in Kajabi, it's actually under landing pages or it'll be under funnels, under the funnel you created. And this is where you can go in here too and you know click on your webinar room. And once you have one that you've designed and you really like, when we do future ones, we typically just duplicate past ones. So you can click the little three dots and click duplicate makes it very, very simple to be able to do that. So that's different from a website page. So it's under landing pages and you can create new landing pages right here too. Let us know if you have any questions down in the comments about using Kajabi for live webinars. If you want me to do a video about how to after this tutorial, create a webinar that has multiple time options in Kajabi. I can absolutely do that. So comment below if you're interested in seeing that video. It'd be really helpful to see if it would be helpful for you guys or if there's anything else you want to see on our YouTube channel. As always, subscribe because we have new videos come out every Tuesday. And if you're also not following us over on Instagram, we have a whole lot of fun over there on a daily basis. And we would love to invite you to, to follow us over there at Stephanie Case Education. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.